This is a Sage Act 2012 Quick Start for New Users video. Brought to you by Platinum CRM Consulting, a Sage Act top partner in Act Software Consulting, Training, and Sales Services. Part 2 Communicate with your contacts. Sage Act provides many ways for you to communicate with your contacts emails, letters, faxes, and so on. Templates are provided for email messages, letters, memos, newsletters, and more. You can write a letter or send an email to one contact or use Mail Merge to write a letter or send an email to a group of contacts. To write and send an email message on the global toolbar, click the arrow next to Email and then click Write Email. You can also click the contact's email address. The message window appears with the recipient's name in the To field. To send a copy of the email to other recipients, do the following. Click the To or CC. From the dialog box that appears, select names from the list on the left. Click To or CC to add the names to the list on the right. Click OK. In the subject field, type a short description of the message. Select options, priority, create history, make history private, or return receipt. In the text box, type your message. Click Send. To write a letter for one contact, display the contact's detail view or select the contact on the contact list. On the right menu, click Letter. The document template opens in your selected word processor. The contact's information, such as name and address, appears in the template. Type the body of the document. Use the word processor's menu to print, fax, or email the document. Organize your contacts into groups. You can organize contacts into groups. Groups let you work with several contacts at once, such as when you want to send emails or organize meetings. You can create a group of static contacts, which means the contacts remain in the group until you remove them. You can also create a group of dynamic contacts using query criteria. With a query, a contact stays in the group as long as it meets the criteria of the query. A group can include both static and dynamic contacts. To add dynamic contacts to a new group, on the global toolbar, click the arrow next to New, and then click Group. A blank group detail view appears. In the Group Name field, type a name for your group. For example, type California Contacts. In the Description field, type a short explanation to help you identify the group. At the bottom of the view, the Contacts tab should be displayed. Click the Add Remove Contacts button. Under Dynamic Members, click the Edit Criteria button. In the Group Criteria dialog box, select Criteria to build the query. In the Type field, keep the selection of Contact. In the Field Name field, click the down arrow, then select the field from the list. For this example, select State. In the Operator field, click the down arrow, then select an item from the list. For this example, select Equal To. In the Value field, click the down arrow, then select an item from the list or type a value. For this example, select California. Click the Add to List button. The query criteria you just selected appears in the center pane. To see the contacts who currently meet the criteria and will be added to the group, click the Preview button. Click OK to add the contacts as members of the group. In the Add Remove Contacts dialog box, the query criteria appears in the Dynamic Member section. Click OK to save the group and close the dialog box. Keep more details about your contacts. You can easily keep additional details about your contacts using the Notes, History, and Documents tabs. These tabs appear at the bottom of the Contact Detail view. These tabs are another way of organizing information about a contact. To add a note, on the Global Toolbar, click Note.
If you had a contacts detail view open, that contacts name appears in the contact field. Keep the name or select one from the list. The current date and time appears in the date and time field. Keep it or select from the list to correct. In the large text box below the formatting buttons, type the note. Click OK. To add a history, on the global toolbar, click History. In the Type field, select the type of history such as Call. In the Result field, select or type the outcome of the action, such as Call Received. In the Contact field, by default, the current contact's name appears. To change it, select a name from the list. In the Date, Time, Duration fields, keep the default entries or select from the list. In the Regarding field, select an item from the list. For example, select cold call. You can also type your own text in the regarding field. In the details text box below the formatting buttons, type the history details. For example, enter the cold call discussion. Click OK. To add a document for a contact, on the detail view for a contact, click the documents tab. Click add document and then select file or shortcut. File saves the actual document to the database's supplemental data store, and it allows it to be backed up with the database. Shortcut just saves a shortcut link to the document. Browse to locate the document to attach, and then click Open. Search for contacts. There are many ways to search your Sage Act database to find contacts or other information. Several of the methods let you create lists and work with the results of the search. To create a search using a search term, in the search text box to the right of the global toolbar, type your search term or terms. Click Go. If search finds items, results appear in columns showing the type, contact, note, etc., name, field name, and content, and the last edited date. If available, use the scroll bar to view all results. If search does not find anything, a message appears. Revise your search term and click Go. If search returned too many results and you need to narrow or limit the results, use the Show Only and Last Edit filters located to the right of the results. To limit the results by category, under Show Only, select one or more items. To limit the results by date range, under Last Edit, select an item. By default, the All Dates filter is selected. Selecting or changing filters changes the search results. For example, selecting the Groups checkbox will reset the search results to show only group records. You can also do the following with search results. To view an item in search results, such as a contact, click the name hyperlink. The Contacts Detail view appears. To change your search term and search again, clear the text in the search box and type a new term. Click Go. To exit the search pane, click any button on the nav bar. To search for a contact records missing an email address, on the nav bar, click Contacts. On the lookup menu, click Email Address. On the second drop down list, select the operator Does Not Contain Data. Click OK. The search results appear in the contact list view. If only one contact record is found, the contact detail view appears. Share information with others. You have entered information into your database. Now you want to share some of it with others. Maybe someone who does not have access to say Jack 2012. This is easily done. You can export information from several views called list views into Excel. You can also print many items such as views, lists, reports, address books, and calendars. To export data to Excel, on the nav bar click Contacts. Then on the View toolbar click List View. On the View toolbar click the Export to Excel tool. In Excel, the column headings and order are retained from the exported list. To print an address book of all contacts, on the File menu click Print. In the Print dialog box, from the Printout Type list, select Address Book. From the Paper Type list, 
Select an address book print template. To see what an address book template looks like, select the Enable Preview checkbox. To select the contacts to include in the address book and set options for formatting, whether or not to include additional addresses and other data, click the Options button. From the Create Printout for list, select All Contacts. Select or clear other options as needed. You can choose a font size, include other addresses for each contact, and more. Click OK. Click Print. To print your calendar, on the nav bar, click Calendar. Select the calendar view to print, daily, weekly, or monthly. On the View toolbar, click the Print tool. In the Quick Print Options dialog box, keep the default options for page orientation and sizing, or Change Options. Click OK. You can access or print a copy of the guide referenced in this video. Go to the Help menu and select Online Manuals, then Act New User Quick Start Guide. For additional training on Act 2012 products, please visit our website, www.actplatinum.com, or send an email to training at actplatinum.com.